Church of Deliverance, and everyone out there in radio land, TV, YouTube land, we're just coming together tonight for a reset, and we just want us want everyone to bow their heads this time, and let's give God a praise and some honor tonight. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for another day that we can come in and get to greet you again, Lord God. Even though we're supposed to bring you with us, Lord God, you are already beat us here to the church tonight, Father God. Because, Lord God, the praises are going to be high. The learnings are going to be high. Pastor is preaching and teaching, Lord God, in the midst of all of this chaos around us, Lord God. We have to put our blinders on because there's a word that's coming from you. A now word, Lord God. And if we don't have our ears listening, Lord God, and our eyes looking for you, Father God, we're going to miss it. But, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God. For everything you're doing, Lord God. And Lord God, bless Pastor as he gives us this learning tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Sister uh, Peggy, for your uh, prayer this, mo this morning, afternoon, evening. We'll get them all three in yeah. one. Amen. A good evening, TV land. Okay. okay. Glad to have you here. Thank you for tuning in to us. This is, uh, this is, uh, 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 what's what they call it? What's, what's that guy at Robert's guy on? Oh, yeah. Anyway, welcome. Welcome today. We hope that you have a good week so far. This is hump day, hump day. Everybody say hump day, hump day, okay. hump day. <laughs> Weekly reset, amen. We're glad to be in the house of the Lord today. We're going to continue in our series, uh, 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 walking, I mean, walking, how to live a virtuous life. But today we're going to continue about walking with integrity. Uh, so, you know, this is what we talked about two weeks ago and on Sunday, last week in Bible study again. Here tonight, we're going to continue our study and walking with integrity. All right, so now I want you to understand it's not what you eat, but what you digest that makes you strong. Huh? Not what we gain, but what we save that makes us rich. Oh, let me slow down. Okay, sorry. Okay, okay. Y'all coming out of the box right. Okay. It's not what we eat, but what we digest that makes us strong. Not what we eat, but what we digest that makes us strong. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Not what we gain, but what we save that makes us rich. Not what we, not what we save. Uh -huh. no, 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 not what we gain, I'm sorry. But what we save that makes us rich. Sorry. Not what we gain, but what we save that makes us rich. Ready? Okay. Not what we read, but what we remember that makes us learn. Not what we read, but what we remember that makes us learn. That makes us learn? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay. And not what we profess. And not what we profess, but what we practice that makes us Christians. Not what we profess, but what we practice that makes us Christians. Okay? Y'all have all that? No? You can repeat it? Where at? Where y'all at? Huh? Last, okay, it's not, what we it's not what we profess, but what we practice that makes us Christians. Third one was uh, uh, not what we gain, no, no, not what we read, but what we remember that makes us learn. Everybody got that? Okay, now, you know, that's just introduction, okay? People will judge us, or God will, people will judge our God 
by the way that we act towards one another. Okay, remember our first lesson is to honor others above ourselves. So what we must be it, a people of integrity when we deal with all people. Just Jesus should affect how we conduct ourselves. Proverbs 20, remember we talked about this last week that uh, we should have integrity in our words. Remember what we say. Uh, your yes is yes, your no is no. We have integrity in our actions. Uh, y'all remember that? And in integrity, T, in actions, and in integrity in our actions towards men. All right. So today, we're going, we're going to look at something here. In, in, in our culture, there's absolutely, in a culture that's absolutely obsessed with appearance and images. Okay, think about that. A culture that we live in is obsessed with appearances and images, okay? Now, remember, the Bible says in Genesis that, that, that we are created in the image of, of God, right? But here as in America, in our culture, we are obsessed with appearances and images, okay? You, you, you never see somebody put a bad image of themselves on Facebook. Uh, come on, right? All right? It, 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 it's all about the image. It's all about how they look, the background of it, okay? And how the world are we to keep it real every day, when everybody else around us is fake. Huh? How is it, church body, how is it, how are we going to keep it real? Because remember, the people, uh, the people say, keep it 100, okay? You, know, you don't want me to keep it 100. If I keep it 100, I'm going to tell you, I, I might hurt your feelings, amen? Uh, I might say some things that you really want to like, I'm going to keep it really 100. Just be honest with it. If you kept it 100 with somebody, you, you may say something that, uh, you really want me to be honest? Uh, you don't want me to keep it 100. I'll keep it about 75 on you. All right, but keep it one hundred. So if we're going to uh, keep it real, huh? That's all, that's all they can handle. Yeah, they, they can't. They can't handle it if you keep it one hundred with them. You see what I'm saying? Because why people don't want you really to tell them the really the, the one hundred, you know, how you really feel. Okay, huh? That, yeah, that is a problem. Yeah, they, 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 the problem by that is because a lot of people, uh, when you, you want, they don't know how to take it, or, or, or they take offense to it. First, of all, that's what they do. They take offense to it. And when they take offense to it, their defense mechanism comes up, okay? And now they're going to retaliate, or now they're going to shut down, not respond, okay? And, and, and now you, you, you got a battle within a battle, and you ain't trying to get a battle, okay? You're just being honest, okay? And, and really, if, really, if people say, well, just be honest with me, you really don't want me to be honest with you, right. okay? It's, it's, if you really want to be honest with you, you probably won't talk to me no more. You probably uh. just leave me from your Facebook account, Okay, take me out your out your phone contacts because why? If I keep it real, one hundred with you because it, I wish I wish we could keep it one hundred with people, keep it real because I, I believe if we keep it one hundred or keep it real with one another, and that's what integrity does is that that's where we we will grow at. And I believe that we have, uh, I, I, I guess, we're grown adults, but we we call ourselves grown adults, but we act like kids. I'm not saying everybody, okay, but you know we, we act like kids, so we wear our, our feelings on, on our sleeves. All right, so now when, ev when everybody is having lack of integrity or faking it, they don't have integrity. They, they are, what was I got here in my notes? They are scooting by, skimming around, and, and they are cheating. They are not keeping their promise. If you are serious about becoming a person of integrity, the first step, the first step, if you're going to be a person of integrity, man or woman of integrity, the first step is, Ellery mentioned by being in the military, he says that uh, if he heard it once, he heard it a thousand times, is that you have to admit that you don't have integrity. The, if the first step to you, the first step is you have to admit that you haven't had integrity. That's the, that's the first step. That's the first step for a person to walk in integrity. Okay. Yeah, it's to admit that I don't have integrity. Okay. Uh, because you, you, I, I, I will break it down as we go here. Okay. Uh, I was cool for yeah, I was cool for y'all came in. Now y'all gonna be hot. Yeah, yeah. The first step is to admit that, that you, you haven't had integrity. You just have to admit that you always don't keep your promises. Okay? All right. You have okay, you often gossip. Okay. And the thing about this, you like it. <laughs> uh, you, you you like it. Because sometimes uh, okay, you, you maybe slack at work, you pretend to be something or someone that you're not, you, got to, you and I have to admit to God that God, I just don't have integrity. Okay, that's the first step. Because remember I, I talked about uh, two weeks ago about uh, that we compartmentalize our lives, okay? And a lot of people, you, they put their lives in segments and they think that they can, li they can live with integrity and still be living a life, uh, have sin in one area that it won't affect another area. 
Okay, let me say it again. Okay, it's hard to, to live to live a, 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 a live in integrity, and you have a a part of your life that's you living in sin that it does not affect other areas of your life. Okay, let me see, let me say this. Okay, sin in any area is going to affect your whole life. Come on now. All right. So the thing about it is, you know, because we're going to find out what integrity is. Integrity. Well, I'm going to go ahead and give it to you now. Integrity means whole, not pieces. Okay, we compartmentalize, we, we, we look our lives in pieces, or and really our lives should be whole. When Christ looks at us, he don't look at us in pieces, he look at us in whole, as one. Okay, and, and that goes back to what the Bible says, that husband and wife should, should be what? One, not two, okay? Uh, okay. What, what's that? Oh, uh, our, our, our life's not in pieces. No, no, our life's not in pieces. Our, our life is not compartmentalized or, or a matter of fact, just use the analogy of a pie. Uh -huh. Okay, if I can say a pie, you cut a pie in many different pieces, and, and, you, and one part of the pie could be my, my social life, another part of the pie could be my, my uh, private life, my home, home life, and Church work life, and all, professional life, and all these things here. Okay, and that's how we look at our lives. Okay, you know, we, we act, I'm gonna say not, not y'all, but those who uh, other people do, that, that they, wherever they're at or who they're around, where they're, that's the job they're gonna have, now they're gonna be professional. Okay, when they're around their friends, they're going to have, to have their social life, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, and then you got your private life, all right? You got your family life. So uh, if we are not whole, okay, if we are not whole in all, every area of our life, it affects, it affects us, okay? Well, I need to set the record straight here to let us know, put the, take the pressure off of you. Nobody in this room or watching online is perfect, mm -hmm. okay? Nobody's perfect, but God does not expect us to be perfect, okay? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. What do you mean? Because you said our life is not like a pie. It's not like mm -hmm. two. Mm -hmm. But there are different there are different parts that make up the whole. There's what? Our lives. There are different parts. I don't know how to explain it. You say it. Pieces that make up the whole and mess with you and all. Mm -hmm. Put the whole together. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. See, 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 but think about it. So, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the problem is, okay, we want to compartmentalize our lives. Okay, say what I'm saying is, okay, that, okay, my private or my, my social life is going to be different than my family life. Okay, does that make any sense? Okay, well, what I'm saying is, you know, the person walking in integrity, my social life is going to be the same as my family life. Okay, and my social life or my private life is going to be the same thing as my work life. Does that make any sense? Okay, I, 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 yes, two weeks ago, yes, ma'am. Yeah, huh? No change, no. no there's, and the thing about it is, you know, that, that's a problem. You know, we, we, act, we act a certain way around certain people. Because God says no one is perfect, but he, but he does not expect you and I to be perfect. He does expect, however, for us to have integrity, uh -huh. okay? And the word perfect means, okay, you see the word perfect in the Bible, it does not mean without fault. Perfect means mature, growing up, okay? Uh -huh. Christ wants us to grow up, okay? But Paul said he best, he said, when I was a child, I spoke to a child. I came a man, I put away childish things. But some of us in the body of Christ, well, we've been saved for, for years, but we're still doing childish things, uh -huh. okay? So you can't get mad when somebody talks to you like a child while you're doing childish things. Okay, like Michael Jackson said, it's the man in the mirror is the problem, okay? Quit looking at everybody else as a problem. Most of the problem is, it's you, okay? So it's easy to shift blame on somebody else, but sometimes it's not them. Really, it's, it's some fault or some gray area in my life that I have not dealt with or I have not acknowledged that existed, okay? I tried to, to uh, okay, but the starting point is here, it, we have to own up, put in your notes, you have to own up to your sins, you have to own up to it, no matter how long the list may be, okay? All right? Because why? If your list is long, God, he, he's not mad at you. He's not going to kick you out, okay? He wants you to work on that, all right? Now, don't try to be short because you want to be cute, okay? Cute don't get you to heaven. Honesty does. Integrity does, okay? We got a lot of people in the body of Christ who want to be cute, okay? You can't be cute at this time. Sometimes you got to get... That, well, I'm gonna say the bare essentials, okay? Okay, God, this is why I, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm really a mess right now. Okay, I, I need help. I need fix. All right. Okay, God, I, I like put this in your notes. God is more interested in your heart than your sins. God is more interested in your heart than your sins. Okay. See, you are more. See, the devil he wants to to target your sins and not your heart, huh? 
See, he, yes, you, you can be saved and, and serving Jesus and still sin, but still have a good heart. Because you sin, it means your heart's wrong. Hmm? He eat with your mouth full. I know your mom told you don't eat his mouth, talk with his mouth full. Huh? Yeah, you need to. Yeah, you chew it all up. <laughs> God is more interested in your heart than your sin. Because the Bible says, out of the, out of the heart, the what? No. The mouth speaketh, okay? See, the thing about this church body, we need to be worried about, okay, our heart, get our heart right. Because if, if our heart is right it, uh, towards God, we want to please God, you know, we, we, we will not want to sin, okay? But when our heart is dark and our heart is, is we, we, we compartmentalize our life, we, okay, think this, this is separate, then that causes us to sin. Okay, you, you're never going to be perfect. Okay, you're never going to be sinless, but you can sin less. Right. Woo! Pass the offering plate around, huh? Okay, you you can. I'm saying this again. You are never going to be sinless, but you can sin less. Huh? Say it again. Yeah, yeah. Sanctify. Sanctification is as as I did as I didn't do it. But who? Okay, she's talk, Mar Mariah's talking here on camera, guys. She said that her faith saves you. Go ahead. So when you start that change, you believe it through. Mm hmm. And that's when you get saved. Mm hmm. So if that change doesn't take place, then you got to make a change. Okay, 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 understand this. The change is the ongoing process. Uh -huh. Okay? Uh, it it can't, can't happen instantaneously. For some people, it can, but some people, it's going to take a. a a process for them to, to walk into place of, of purification. Okay? It's, it's not going to happen over there. If that's the case, everybody be safe. Yeah. That's not instantaneous. Okay? Uh, but, they say, but, but also, it, it can be uh, instantaneous. You know what I mean? It depends on the condition of your heart. You know what I mean? If you're really, really uh, repentant, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And, uh, but if you're, we're doing it for it to please people and please, do it for, for others, okay? It's not going to last long. So then we're going to have to keep on Going back and saying, we said, God, if you get me out of this, I promise I'll never do it. God, get you out of it. You say, God, okay, come back to the God, I promise, I promise i never do it. Okay? Most times, what we say is that we say it because we got caught. Or you feel bad, not because you really are remorseful. Does that make any sense? Okay? So salvation is instantaneous, but then it's an ongoing process. He's sanctifying me. Okay? He's sanctifying me. He goes to regeneration, to purification, and all these things. Okay? Okay? Uh, See, now you will try to get me off for another lesson here. All right. Yeah, it was a good question, right, right? Okay. So, right, you said you want to ask, I'm going to ask you a good question. How do we keep it real? How do we keep it real? Tell the truth. But nothing but the truth will help you, God. Huh? All right. Do what? Okay. All walks of life. That's good. That's a good point. Okay. Accountability. Okay. Okay. And to keep it real, you got to care more about God's approval than the approval of others. For you to be able to keep it real, you got to care. You honestly got to care about more what, what God approval than what others approve. Or trying to prove yourself in front of others. That's the only way that you ever walk in integrity that you got to care more about God's approval than man's approval. Okay, but the thing about it, it's hard for us to, to think of that message of Sherry because why we don't see God, we see man. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so if man if, if man sees me, I got to act a certain way, I got to talk a certain way, I got to dress a certain way. Mm -hmm. Am I right about it? So so now so now it, it, I said uh, subconsciously, okay, that, that we think about that when we get dressed, when you get when you get when you get dressed in the morning, you're thinking, okay, now I, I got to make sure that I got to look a certain way, right? Your your image, okay? How, how do I look when I go out the door? Okay, I, I believe the last thing you do before you walk out, I hope you do, <laughs> that you look, check yourself in the mirror before you walk out the house. Okay, make sure that you ain't got no critters, you ain't got nothing hanging, clapping, you know what I mean, that you got, every, all right, that, you, that you're looking presentable, right? Okay, now, we, so we put so much stock or time or thought, okay, think about how much thought that you, you put in that, uh, just to be able to go to a party, just go to a, a cookout or, or go to a family reunion. You think, you, you, matter of fact, most people get stressed out before they even get there. 
Huh? It, it, it's the preparation that stresses you out. Go oh, while you want. Who's going to be there? Okay, okay. Or this person going to be there? Are they, they going to say something crazy to me? Whatever it may be. Okay. So we got to worry about more about what God thinks, God's approval, than what others think. Because why? If you care about what God thinks, catch this, then you are, you are going to do the right thing. If you think about what God God wants and God's approval, you will always, well, you write this down, always do the right thing, okay? You can never go wrong if you do what God wants. You can never go wrong, okay? But, but now, listen here, that takes discipline. Huh? It, it's, it's, it's not going to happen easy, okay? It's not going to happen because you just pray, okay? You, <laughs> all right? You got to make a choice. You, you got to choose it. Huh? You have to be intentional with it because Joshua said, choose ye this day, right, whom you will serve. Okay, you don't realize that throughout the day, you probably serve many things. Huh? All right? And, and, the, Lord, and, the, Lord, and the Lord says, okay, if you're going to, to be walking with integrity, you got to care about or think about what God thinks and, and do the right thing. Even you will care more about than what others think. Well, some people, you know, they will take the, uh, the low road. They will take the cheap route. And remember, I, I gave you that story there last a couple weeks ago about the man building his house. Uh, you're gay. Uh, he's retired. Uh, and, he, and he cut corners. He put the cheap stuff in there. And, and the boss came to him, gave him the keys. said, here's your keys to your, your brand new house. I mean, he probably felt that small. Okay? You know what I mean? If he, if he had known that, see, he didn't know that. See? And that's the thing about it is you don't know, thank you, Holy Spirit, you don't know one act, what one act of obedience will get for you. Huh? You, see, you, you don't know what one sacrifice will, what God will, will pour into your life, that you will just deny yourself, thank you, oh God, that you will just deny yourself what God will bring on your behalf or do on your behalf. See, what we think about is the cost or what you have to give up. But you're not thinking about, because while we have never been taught this, that what, I'm about, what God is about ready to receive. I, 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 I'm going to put this in your notes. You cannot get until you release. You have to release. You, you, or, or, or put this, you got to let go. You got to let go. Whatever it is, okay? I'm going to go. You, you can put in your notes to, to, to receive, I got to let go. All right? There, 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 there's some things in your house that you've been holding on for 20 years. Get rid of it. You ain't going to get back in those clothes again. Get rid of it. Well, I'm, I'm waiting until I, I, no, you ain't going to get back in them. You ain't got back in them clothes in 20 years. You ain't getting them to them now. Huh? You just, just take them to Goodwill. Or put it, have a yard sale, make some money off of it. Huh? Okay, do something with it, okay? Because you're not going to wear it, okay? There's stuff in it. This is why I really don't understand. This, I, I, have a, I, I have a real, I have a problem with this. I, I, I told Lady Brother, she got to get stuff out of the garage. I don't say, you, you pay great money for your vehicles, got a garage, and the car sits outside, junk's inside. Huh? You, you, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense. Why you have a garage in the, in the, in the and you pay all that money for a, for a car, and it's sitting outside, and you got stuff that you, you, know, you, 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 got, you, got, you got chemicals in there, you got yeah. weed and feed, and you got, you got all that stuff in there. Huh? Yeah, uh, Rick, did you hear me, Rick? <laughs> Play this back to him. This one, huh? All right. But, but that, that, that bothered me. I'm like, man, you, you paid $60,000 for a car, that thing's sitting outside, and you got stuff in the, in the garage that really ain't worth nothing. Yeah. Okay. All right, so let's go to the Word of God. Psalms 119 says this. It says, how can a young person live a clean life? Okay, I, I, I like how the Bible puts that. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't discriminate. It just says the young person, because we're all young in Christ. Okay, be careful by, by, by carefully reading the map of your Word. How can you and I live a pure life or walk in integrity? It's by carefully reading the Word of God. Okay, everybody say carefully. Okay, because why? I know, I know that there's certain parts of the Bible that you like, and certain parts of the Bible that you just skim over real fast. Okay, all right. Because why? There's some things that you say, okay, I agree with that, but some things, you say, oh, uh, I, I'm ignoring that part of it. And but why? The reason why we ignore certain parts of that, because why? We are convicted by that. Come on now, and, and the Holy Spirit will reveal itself. And see, and the hope, when the hope of the Lord reveals something, when He's trying to correct us, He's not mad at us. He wants us to be men and women who will walk in integrity. Because why? People need character or care, uh, integrity in this world. Okay, but right now you don't see it from the White House to the dope house. You, there's no integrity. Okay, there's no integrity at, at all, okay? But here it says, how can a young person live a clean life? I'm glad he answers his own question by carefully reading the word of God, okay? Bible, the, we said Bible, basic instructions before leaving earth, okay? And, and, and the Bible, my friend, 
David says, what? Well, the word is a lamp unto my feet and a, what? a light unto my path. See, the word of God, it, it, it leads us. It, it, it guides us, church body. See, and that's how you and I, if we abide by the word, we stay in the word of God. If you don't stay in the word of God, if you don't read the word of God daily, you're, going, you're, you're not going to have strength to walk in integrity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, Jeff talking about going to Columbus. He's talking about going to Hillsboro. Going, to, I don't know why he's glad way for, but you know, maybe you, you live that way, or maybe you live over that, maybe you over that side of town, huh? But if you go, if you live in Chilcot, you go to Hillsboro, you just flat out dumb. <laughs> yeah, 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 usually, yeah, maybe, maybe you just want, you just want to burn some gas. <laughs> All right. Um, so, here, the only way that you are going to know what God approves of and what he thinks of you is by reading his word, okay? Quit asking people, what do you think about me? Uh-oh. Huh? How do you see me? Okay, quit asking them. They don't know, they didn't create you. Only God, you need to go to God and say, God, what do you think about me? God, what do I need to fix? God, wh- wh- where am I lacking at? God, wh- what do I need more help on? Where's my strength? Where's my? We go to everybody else, but we don't go to him. He knows us best. And guess what? He want to give you the calling. He's want to give you the ministry. Okay, he's want to give you a purpose. So what? We, so for me to be able to find out my purpose of my life is I gotta stay my head down in the Word of God. Amen. If I don't, guess what? I will lose. Okay. If I don't stay in the Word of God, if I don't stay, good God, a peace got me belching. If I don't stay focused on on His plan of action, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna fall short. Okay. I'm going to lack integrity, and I'm going to take shortcuts. I'm going to say say this. No, I'm going to rob myself of blessings. Okay? When you, I'm thinking, Holy Spirit, when you don't read the Word of God, or if you don't read the Word of God daily, okay, you you got to read for hours, but if you you can, you got time, go ahead and do that. But if you neglect reading the Word of God daily, you are robbing yourself. This is good notes here. You're robbing yourselves, okay, uh, of, of, of blessing, of power, of peace, of joy, Okay, you're robbing yourself, okay? So you, you see, you cannot get mad. Quit get mad at the devil. Quit get mad at your friends or your spouse, your mates, your friends, whoever it is. Maybe the, the, what's going on is you have neglected the main thing, and that is reading his word. If you stay in his word, you, you, will, learn, you will know how to respond to those who come at you crossways. Because why? Because why? If you go why? He will keep your mind in perfect peace. Because why? You, you, you're, you're going to be able to say, you're going to be like Jesus says, Father, forgive them. But see, we, we, can, we, are, we have not arrived to that point yet. Because why? We have not spent time with like Jesus. How, how could Jesus, all the hell he went through, being beat on, being spit on, hung on a cross, and the first thing out of his mouth said, Father, forgive them? Huh? Why? Because why? This is a this is, he was a man, but also he was fully God. But he spent time with his father. Well, the Bible says he he spent time with his disciples, but more importantly, he left them and go to the mountain. Sometimes you got to leave your family, leave your friends, and go be by yourself. Come on now, because why? There's there's, there's some there's only some things that God can give you. Yes. Okay. And, and sometimes we'll say sometimes your family, your friends yes. can stop that. Huh? Because why they're going to do what you, they want you to do and not what God wants you to do. Okay? Because Jesus said, I don't, I don't do nothing unless my father. Because why? Remember, because why? They want to make him king. They want to crown him king. He said, my time ain't, is not yet. But they, they, well, his, his mother said, can you turn this water to wine? He said, oh, you foolish woman. Yeah, what do to do with me? But guess what? She said, but I, I love what she says. Whatever he says, do it. Huh? She had enough sense, did she not? But guess what? Jesus did it anyhow, did he not? Okay? So the thing about it is, we got to understand is, okay, as you strive to build a life based on values that will last, we got to establish and maintain, okay? If we're going to build a life, okay, to leave a legacy, you got to live a legacy. Okay? To leave a legacy, you got to live a legacy. All right? So if you're going to leave something for your children, okay, your children need more of the money when you die, they need some morals. They need a foundation, okay? Y'all got quiet in here, <laughs> huh? Okay, and I think that's one thing that that that, that most uh, almost, okay Afro American you know we neglect uh, taking care of, of those things for 
our children and our grandchildren. You know what I mean? You know, they they got to get a loan to bury us. We'll scrape, we'll scrape up money. Okay, that's crazy. You know, you, 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 we should not put our children in that situation. We should be able, you know, you know that, that, that's, that's, that's called uh, accountability, being smart. Okay? It, it's making sure that you have all your stuff taken care of, that when you do pass away, we're, we're, we're going to die one day. Okay? Yeah, okay? And the thing about it is, now, why would I want to put a burden on my children, on my grandchildren? Okay, it's going to be bad enough when I'm gone. Okay, I, I shouldn't compound it, Peggy, by making pay for pay for, my, for for the funeral, huh? Well, I'm just trying to say this is what men and women integrity does. We prepare ourselves. We prepare, okay? Because why it's going to happen? Okay, just don't get, just can't wait till the last minute. All right. So to maintain integrity, uh, Matthew five eight says, "God blesses those whose hearts are pure, for they what, Mariah? Mariah just staring at me. For they what, Mariah? See God." <laughs> She's just going. She's going. <laughs> huh? God blesses. Uh, everybody say blesses. Bless God blesses those who what? Who, uh, huh? Who what? Heart 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 heart. Remember, I just said earlier is that God, God, God is, is worried about your heart more than you worry about your what? Your sins. Did I say that? Did I, did I say that? Okay. So God blesses those whose hearts are pure, for they will see God. Okay, that, that that is guaranteed. They will see God. And I want you to understand what that word means. See God means. Okay, Justin, I'm, I'm, I'm busy right now. It, when you see God, what that means is right. This you know to see God. Okay, when you see in verse number eight, it means to experience the presence of God. Okay. God, God blesses those whose hearts are pure, for they will see God. The word see God means uh, to experience, okay, the presence of God, not the present. Okay, that's what, that's what we celebrate, the present, the things he gives us. No, you experience the presence of God, okay? Go why in the Bible says, in his presence there's what? Forms of joy that has right hand there's pleasures forevermore, okay? And I, I like this, why I sit here, okay, this right here, when we see God, it, you, it should be an experience, okay? This should be, we should experience God. It, it should be an experience. When you're, when you're reading your Bible, when you're doing your devotion, having your praise and worship, you should, if you're walking, in, 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 have a, your heart is pure, you should see God. You should experience the presence of God. You don't have, if you think you got to wait till Sunday to experience his presence, okay, you're missing it. Okay, you're missing, okay? Okay, you should experience God's presence every day of your life. Because why? He, he, why? he blesses those whose hearts are pure, for they will see God. That's a promise. I'm, I'm giving you a promise today from the word of God. If your hearts are pure, if you walk in integrity, you will see God. And what does that mean? You will experience the presence of God, okay? You will experience the presence of God. Not might, not maybe, okay? You will, all right? But also, believers whose hearts are pure, you're going to experience, I'll write this down, you're going to experience the power of God. Yes, ma'am. You have to see God. You're going to experience the power of God. You're going to, you're going to experience his presence, and you're going to experience his power. Who don't want his power? And power is, 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 is the dunamis power. Okay, dunamis. D-U-N, dunamis. Dunamis. I knew, I, knew, I knew she's asking. I knew I started spelling. I shouldn't even start spelling. Uh, I, knew, I knew I shouldn't even start. I started spelling. And she's like, okay, you gonna finish it? Okay, dunamis. D U N M A I S. Dunamis. That means dynamite explosion. Okay, you should you, you should experience. I don't know about you should experience the power of God. Okay, okay. If you have not felt that, okay, okay I, I, I'm praying for that that you will experience, you will experience that. Okay, if you uh, to see God also, you get to know his purpose for your life. Okay, that's another thing here. Seeing God, you, that you will know the purpose for your life. All right? Okay, does that make any sense? People, you, if you see God, if you have a pure heart, you're going to experience the presence of God. You're going to experience the power of God. Man, if y'all you, you haven't realized, I'm giving you all peace. Thank, elderly, here I go. This is you, buddy. Okay? Okay, you know, he, he does all the, he does all the letters, doesn't he? Okay, you, you know, the, you know the, the presence of God, the power of God, the purpose of God. Okay, y'all ready for another one? And also you're going to live with the peace of God. 
I'm giving y'all, I'm giving y'all messages y'all don't even realize. The peace of God, uh huh. Yeah, you 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 experience the peace of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you you experience it. You want to live the peace with, with the peace of God. You want to experience it. Yeah. If you have a pure heart, you're going to experience the peace of God. Okay. So what we got? The, we got the presence. We got the the power. We got the purpose. We got the peace. And last but not least, you're going to experience the pardon of God. Those who have a pure heart will see God. The pardon. Pardon from God. Forgiveness. There you go. Mm-hmm. Now, do you want to be one of those people? Okay. To have integrity does not mean you are perfect, but it it but because it if it did, none of us will have it. Okay. So, what does integrity mean? Integrity here is hot. It means wholeness. Okay. This right here goes back to what Brenda asked me here about the pieces. Okay. Integrity means wholeness. One. Okay. Okay. It's, it's not compartmentalized. It's not a a pie here, a piece here, a sliver there, and a sliver there. No, your life is one pie. Okay, that make any sense? Okay, you, you, you cut that, you cut that cherry pie up in eight different pieces, but still cherry pie is not. Okay, you, you're not gonna get an apple pie out of that cherry pie. Amen. 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 All right. So the thing about it is, your life integrity means it's wholeness. All right. So it means that every part of my life is is one. Okay, every part of my life, my social life, my, my family life, my private life, my, my, my work life, my home life, all these other lives that we want to compartmentalize, it's all one. All right, so what it means is that, that I, my, my conduct, my speech, my actions, and my motives, it's, it's the same in every arena, no matter where I'm at, no matter where you're at. Your actions, your speech, your, your motives, should be same all the way across the board. All right? Integrity also is authenticity. Authenticity. Oh, I like that word. Authenticity. Integrity is authenticity. Remember, I think I said it two weeks ago, you know what I mean? About in Greek culture, Chaz, if, uh, in, Greek, if you, in Greek culture, that's when they, they wore these masks and they was called Hypocrites, hypocrites. Okay, they, they wore masks. Okay, and they were portraying something who they really wasn't. Okay, and, and okay, I, like I said two weeks ago, we, we talked about I used the, uh, the analogy of Halloween. But you know, we, I, m on the majority of Sundays, some people that we that we interact with on Sundays, they they're, they're, they got a mask on. Yeah. Okay, yeah. They, 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 they got a mask on. You know what I mean? Because you, 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 they're not showing you the real you. As a matter of fact, when most people are dating, okay, there's, 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 a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a pre date and, and an after date, huh? huh? When, when you date somebody, you, you, you open the doors for them, you're being nice and, and doing all these things, but as soon as you, you, you get locked in, boy, all that stuff's going out the window. Uh, you, you open your own door, huh? Okay, you, you, now, now she's walking in, on, on the side of the street, close to the road, and you should be over there, but, huh? That's the thing about it, though. Huh? I can't, I can't hear what you're saying. They're not being real. Yeah, you're not being real. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we have, so, uh, a matter of fact, I got, I got, I got synonyms for, the, for a hypocrite, okay? Okay, hypocrite, synonym for hypocrite is pretender. Okay, how many people that you know that, that, that sometimes, don't, don't mention no names, okay? You probably, you said you heard pretenders, probably a few people flash in your mind right then. Deceiver. Imposter for hypocrite, pretender, deceiver, imposter. But this really what got me here to be a Pharisee. Remember, I said, okay, what's a Pharisee? What's a Pharisee? A Pharisee is they're the one that look apart. They're the one that look really good. Okay, in front in front of men, you know, they had their. Like I said, you read about they had their long rows, prayed long prayers, but their heart was so deceitful. They were so wicked. They were so evil. Okay, but 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 they looked good in front of the people, in, in front of the, of the congregation. All right, the huh? They the law. Man, they, they, obeyed, they, they, they they was man, they was they were strict, but they didn't have but the love of God in them. They didn't have it. Okay. Many people today, they dress apart but don't have it. Okay? See, in the Lord, rather you have it than, than dress apart. Because God created you to be you. 
and he wants you to shine. Okay, he, you can't shine if you're trying to be somebody else. You, you, can, you can't shine if you're trying to praise like uh, Deacon Lee. You can't shine if you're trying to praise like Sister Sherry. You can't, you can't shine if you're trying to praise like Mariah. You, you, you got to be you, okay? And if you, if you can't get loud as Mariah, that's, that's all right. You, just be you, okay? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Because why? That's who God, but if you're trying to scream, just, you, if you're trying, if your main motive is trying to get loud as Mariah, because pastor can say something about it, your motive, okay, your, your heart is wrong. Right, right. Huh? You, 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 you should just give it all that you got, okay, whether the pastor acknowledges or not. I'm, God, first of all, I'm going for God. This is the real thing, okay? Uh, and I, the Bible said, let everything have breath. Praise ye the Lord. So I'm going to praise God with the breath I do have. Okay, and that, that's why I said we did it on Sunday uh, that when Joshua told, uh, he told the people to shout, okay? He said, you shout on my command, not on your command, okay? When you shout, the walls will come tumbling down, and you got to realize when you, when you open, up, open up your mouth, okay, there's power in your, in your vocal cords, okay? There's power, okay? You, you, can, you, you, can, you can make the demon, demons flee from you if you just open your mouth and say the right thing, but instead, we open our mouth and say the wrong thing, and demons just come on in. Okay, and just habitat, just stay amongst us, okay? So you, you got to be a, a man or woman with integrity of authenticity, okay? Uh, don't wear a mask in front of people, okay? Be you, okay? Another one is integrity is uncorrupt motivation. Uncorrupt motivation. What is uncorrupt motivation? What is, that, what is uncorrupt motivation? Hmm? Come on. You know, you had an ulterior motive. It means that you do the right thing and you do it for the right reason. Okay? You do the right thing, you do it for the right reason. You, you, know, you said you have no ulterior motives, there's no unmixed motives. You have pure motives about this, okay? I want to help you, because, not because I, I want something from you in return. I'm going to help you, because why? If I'm, this, this is what I want to do. I want to bless you. Does that make any sense? Like yeah, yeah. Okay, you, you are sincere, you are straightforward in every area of your life with all people, not with some people, okay? When you pray, okay, this, this really used to bother me. When people pray, okay, some people when they pray, they're praying, when they pray to God, they're trying to impress people, not God. When you pray, pray to God, not to, not, pray to God, not for people. Does that make any sense? Okay. Yes. Just, 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 just trying to sometimes just trying to move a crowd, okay? You know, because see, if we're doing for the mo if our motivation is to move a crowd, get the crowd. Then after you get after you get done praying, say, "Ooh, you really did pray, girl. You really did pray, boy." Okay, that, that, that's okay, that, that's nice, but take it for the grain of salt. Don't take don't get caught up on that because why? I, I'm not doing it to to move you or to motivate. I'm, I'm, I'm trying this. Like I said, it's, it's a conversation between me and my father. My heart is pure. My motives is right. Okay. Yeah, earthly reward. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we're interested. I said, oh, I'm screaming. <laughs> we're interested in our image, but God is interested in our integrity. We are interested in our image. God is interested in our integrity. We're interested in our image, but God is interested in our integrity. We're interested in our reputation. Reputation, but God is interested in our character. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna say. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna stand up there. I was gonna stand. I'm gonna sit. We're interested in our reputation, but God is interested in our character. Huh? Okay, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say that's why some people will never do things that they so desire because their character is not right. Huh? You can never get to a place that, that you so desire if you got bad character. Because why? If, if, if God put you in a place that you so desire with your character, it do more damage than good. Uh, amen? amen? God, listen, God is worried about our character. Okay? Uh, and it matters to God how you conduct yourself. How, how, go right, right here, sir. I got here. Reputation is what everybody thinks, thinks you are. Integrity is who you really are. Mm. Reputation is what everybody thinks you are. But integrity is who you really are. Hurry up. I got to move. I move. Y'all got that? No? Reputation is what everybody thinks you are. But integrity is who you really are. 
Yeah. Reputation is what you are in public. Integrity is who you are with God. Ready? Oh, no, no, don't, don't, go, don't look at me. Go ahead. Proverbs eleven twenty says this: The Lord detests people with crooked what? Crooked hearts, but He delights in those who. There, come on now. Okay, I'm just showing you in the Word of God. Okay, the Lord detests people with crooked hearts who wear masks. Okay, who who compartmentalize their life, but He delights in those who, with integrity. He delights in those with integrity. All right? What do you mean, Carrie? Oh, you, you, you can't, me and Jeff, me and Jeff, somebody like this, you can't treat or talk to everybody the same way Everybody's different. Uh, there, there's certain things that I can say to Peggy that I can't say to you. But wouldn't, wouldn't it be when you're promoted to, to, to speak? Huh? And people are different. Everyone's different. Mm -hmm. But I think. Well, I just think I thought that. I thought about that with what people are different. But it's the, the, the kicker, I think, is not only the difference, but then what your motives are. If your motives are to be different, because Okay. okay. But you allow another group of people to see the real you when you compartmentalize your life, your public yeah. life and your private yeah, yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to make a difference, but that's kind of that's just what I was thinking. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, no exception, yes, okay. Well, what I may mean, be saying is, it, what I'm mean, saying is that, you're, that you're honest with all of them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That, that, that you're not going to, you're, you're not going to be, be backbiting or gossiping behind somebody else's back. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're just trying to fit in with that crowd, be just be part of that crowd because that's what they do. So you you want to talk a certain way, you want to act a certain way, you want to do certain things. When you're you're in this group over here, you're going to be totally different. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Does that make any sense? Chameleon. Yeah, chameleon. Yeah, yeah. Intimacy and the relationships may be different, so that to me that would how you can be different with different people because the relationships are different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, <coughs> is that do, do you agree? Who? What? what? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Most definitely. Yes. Yes. Most definitely. Okay. Uh, it, we gotta have integrity in our words, integrity in our actions, integrity um, towards man, but also we gotta have integrity in our actions towards God. Okay, come on here. Integrity to our actions towards God. Yeah, I'm going to show you a scripture here out of Matthew. Okay, you all write that down? You got to have integrity in our actions toward God because after this right here, I'm going to show you some things. I got, I got not about nine minutes. I got to bust a move here. I got a lot to do, and I got to do it real fast. Integrity in our actions towards God. Matthew 5.33 says this. You have also heard that our ancestors were told you must not break your vows. You must carry out the vows you make to the Lord. All right? Deuteronomy uh, 23, 23 says this. But once you have voluntarily made a vow, be careful to fulfill your promise to the Lord your God. Okay? So it, we have to have integrity or action towards God. What all that means, God, command, God commands in the Old Testament is if you made a vow before God that you were obligated to keep that vow. All right? A oath or a vow is a serious statement or declaration made with an appeal to God for the truth which is to be affirmed. You took a vow, 
if you want to be taken seriously. You hear what I just said? Okay, you took a vow if you want to be taken seriously. God said, if you make one, you better keep it. Huh? Okay, well, this here, if you, if, you, if you invoke God's name in a vow and don't keep it, you're bringing dishonor upon God. Huh? Well, I'm going to, I'm going to, huh? A vow, you, 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 a vow. Yeah, I did. Okay, what do you want me to do? Back it up? Yeah. To where? The beginning of where you're talking about a vow to be faithful. I'm keeping it real. Keep it real. Okay, okay, keep. Okay, you, you have also heard, okay, right here. Okay, it's been out here. You must, you must not break your vows. You must carry out the vows you make to the Lord. Okay, if, okay, and I'm going to show you here what that means here uh, about when you make a vow to, to the Lord, okay? Is that what you're really asking me? For? What, what did that mean? Okay, uh, you let me get this. You want me to go backwards? So I'm trying to go forward. You want me to go back? All right, so what that really means is, okay, it, it, it's much like uh, the practices we use in the court system. We used to place our hand in the Bible and says what? Okay, I swear to tell truth, nothing but truth will help me, God. All right, but, but here what we're going to find out here, remember in Acts chapter number 5, Ananias and Sapphira? You remember that? that they, they lied to God, and that's why they were killed. And the thing about it, they, they really didn't have to lie. They, they voluntarily, uh, to give their proceeds of sale to the land to God, but they withheld part of it, okay? There, there was no need for them to lie, okay? Because what, when we tell God, guess this, when we, this is what you're at. When we tell God that we're going to commit our lives to him, we must for, fulfill that vow to him, okay? Hear, hear me, okay? And this is where the body of Christ is is lacking at, okay? When we tell God we're going to commit our lives, when we say, God, I want you to be the Lord and Savior of my life, okay? I, I want you in my life. When we make that vow, when, when we commit our lives to him, we must fulfill that vow. That make any sense, okay? When we say that we love God, okay, we must keep God's commandments. Uh -huh. If we say we love God, we must keep his commandments, all right? Now, Job was, Job set the standard for, for high integrity, okay? Job was a man of, of, of of excellent character. He was a man that, that his body was covered with sores and he lost his livestock, he lost his servants, he lost his family and, he, and he, his so-called friends turned their back on him. Uh, and when, when, when he turned, he had one person to turn to look for comfort to and it was his wife and he finds out his wife has turned to him as well, or turned on him as well. She said this, she says, are you still holding on to your integrity? Why don't you curse God and die? Huh? Oh, you see what I'm saying? So the question I need to ask to you today, tonight is, where is your integrity? Okay? Okay? There's going to be times, that, okay, there's going to be times when you are tired and you don't feel like serving in the church. Okay? Are you still wanting to serve when you truly don't feel like it? Huh? Where is your integrity? Huh? Do you pray for those who come to you and ask for you to pray or do you just brush them and off and tell them you will pray for them? Where is your integrity? When your pastor, he had his new shirt on. Anybody even said it? Y'all ain't paid attention to it. Huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, y'all remember the message I preached? Huh? Okay. Yeah, what does it matter? Okay. Huh? Okay, Deacon Lee here. She probably saw it. She probably going to text me here in a minute. Okay. When the pastor needs volunteers, when the pastor needs bodies for projects, cleanups, around the church, okay? You, you, you have planned to go shopping. You have planned to go to movies knowing that you can go shopping or to movies at any other time, but you make the excuse and you go to shopping anywhere or to movies anywhere. Where is your integrity? Huh? When, <laughs> when somebody tells you something in confidence and, and invites you into their home and, and shares private moments with them and, and you promise, you gave them your vow that you will not say that this is between me and you. Huh? By the time you got your, in the car, out of the driveway, you're on the phone, huh? come on, telling everybody about how their house look or what's going on in that person's house. Where is your integrity? Uh, I can get out here. I got two, four minutes. The first mark of integrity is this. The first mark of integrity is this, Smitty, is humility. This is the first mark of integrity. If you're going to, to be a man and woman of God, you got to have integrity. Everybody say integrity, of humility. Okay, because God said in the word that God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. When we walk, when we serve the Lord in humility, 
the desired results is for people, the attention should be on Jesus and not on those who, who are serving. Or, does that make any sense? When we are serving, the attention should not be on us. The attention should be on the one who we're serving. Huh? Humility. So why we want people to follow him, not follow you. Amen? It's a fine line that we must, uh, we must be very cautious of. We must recognize that we are servants of the Lord. And what is the word servants? Okay, here we are. Serving. Here we are. Serving. We're servants. Come on here. Servants of the Lord. It's the Greek word doulos. Okay, doulos. This word serving, which means a slave who has no rights of his own. If we are the servants, <laughs> I do it. If you are the servants of the Lord, okay, we are serving the Lord. You serve it in any capacity. This is you. Okay, we're saying I, I, a servant has is a slave who has no rights of his own. Okay, this is deep, Sherry. Okay, so our desire must be to serve the Lord, and that is done by serving others. Even when I don't feel like it, even when they may be mad, even when they talked about me, I still got to serve. Why? I have no rights on my own. Why? My, my life is in his hands. I'm a servant of the Lord. So I'm a slave to him. I have no rights. So I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. In, in, in ministry, in, in this Christian world, people will hurt your feelings. Okay? They're going to talk about you. Don't take it personal. Keep serving. Okay, nobody, you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't join the ministry, you don't join the army of God to be liked. People ain't going to like you. Come on, so, so don't panic, don't, don't quit the church, don't say, well, they, they talk about something, I'm going to go to another church. Huh? Stay in the fight. You see, how can you grow if you're always being uprooted? I, I remember I said, I said bloom where you are planted. Amen. And the thing about it is you got to understand here, there, there are going to be some tough times for, for that plant, for that flower to come up out of that ground. It had to go through some things. It had to fight. It had to struggle. It had some rain. It had people walking on it. Okay. It had some adversity. But guess what? It persevered. It stuck it out. Come on. If we would just stick it out. Because why? There's a blessing on the other side of this church body. God got something in store for you. But if you always keep running when you get offended, when you take things personal, all right? Oh, okay, the second mark of integrity, I got two, two, one minute. The second mark of integrity is consistency. Come on, Ryan, talk, talk to me here. It's consistency. Everybody say consistency. Okay? Remember I said consistency and inconsistency is, is, is vital in your life. Okay? Consistency. Consistency. Lies that are full of integrity are consistent in their living. This why I just say what I mean by that is you complete the course, or you complete the task, even if the going gets very uncomfortable. Huh? You complete the task or the course, even if things get uncomfortable. Okay. Too many people, too many people, talk of this Christian life. But when things get tough or the, or the way it gets difficult their, and their personal life starts to, to go in shambles, it leads them away from God. Okay? Listen here, church body. If you're going to be a man and woman of integrity, it's imperative that you complete the race with joy. Amen. Huh? You got to complete this race with joy. You, 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 okay? I'm not saying every day is going to be a day, a, a, a sunset, but you got to complete this race with joy. You got to complete it. You got to endure. You got to endure the, 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 the last. You got you to, uh, people talking about you, you got to endure all that. You got to press through all that. Maybe God is using that person or, or that circumstances to build your character. But why? Because if you can't handle on this level, you definitely ain't going to handle on that level. Okay? Come on now. There's so many people want to be at a higher level, but you can't handle the demons you're at right now. You're where you're at right now. So how are you going to handle this? Because the Bible said new, not the Bible, does it say new levels bring what? New devils. Okay, so you got to learn how to, to deal with that devil on that level and conquer that devil, amen, and put him under your feet. Then God will elevate you, okay? Come on, church body. Because why? You got to be consistent. The, the third thing here, third, I got to get out of here. The third thing is that you got to, that the integrity, you got you to be faithful. You got to be faithful. You, know, you got to be faithful in your living. I want to say faithful in your living, faithful in your giving. Faithful. 
What's that? What, what faith when you're living? Okay. Okay, right, right. What's you want to ask? What does that look like? Faith for my living. My, I'm doing what I said I would do. If I, 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 I'm, a do, I, I'm a man of my word. If I said I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Okay? I'm going to, what is it? Faithful living. I'm going to love. Okay? Just like a marriage. Okay? You know me because, you know, I'm, I'm not going to step out on God. I'm not going to step out because if I go, out, I'll go home, I'll, I'll go, because my wife, Carrie, may be mad. I'm going to go pick up the pick up phone and go talk to somebody else because she made me mad. No, I'm going to be faithful. I, I, I got I to endure that. I got to work through that. If I'm being, if I'm being made of integrity, okay? if I if I want to raise my sons, my, my grandchildren, if they're going to be able to just look at their grandfather and say, okay, he done, he wasn't perfect, but he he, he did he did the right things. That make any sense, okay? Everything I'm everything I'm gonna do, how I talk to, to to how I even bring correction, I'm gonna do it not in a way that that's crude, but in a way that that's loving and compassionate. But I'm gonna get my point across, okay? I can correct you, and sometimes you need corrected. Okay, but think about it. A pastor, thank you, the Holy Spirit. Sometimes I cannot correct you because why? You, you're not in a place for for to receive the correction. Okay, yeah, because yeah, that's what happened. You, you build a wall up, or you're ready to come on an attack. And the first thing you said, "Who is he? he huh? He?" The first thing, first thing they said. First of all, first of all, they called me the pastor as long as I'm, I'm preaching what they want me to preach. But as soon as I bring correction, now I'm their enemy. Huh? You, 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 see, I, I ain't going to that church no more. You know, he, he, he no, see. Okay, the thing, see, see, that's the problem is, okay, you, you, you're wearing a mask here, okay? See, now, if, if, if you want your pastor to be your pastor, you got to let your pastor lead you and guide you and also correct you, okay? But if your pastor corrects you, he don't do it publicly, he does it privately. Uh -huh. See, and that's what many pastors have done, that they have embarrassed people publicly, and guess what, now that they run, okay, and now they don't trust no leadership. Okay, shame on them, and, and we, we, we need to ask for forgiveness from that. And our job as a leader is to correct them privately, yeah. but lest they do something publicly, now I, I expose it publicly. Yeah. Okay, it's different now, okay? If, if you do it publicly, I, I got to expose it publicly, uh -huh. okay? Uh, but, but when I do it, I'm not doing it in a condemning way, I'm doing it in a, a compassionate way to, to heal you, not to hurt you. All right? So why God is holy. I'm, I'm done. I can get out of here. God is holy. Man, I'm, tech, I get, I'm four minutes over. Y'all ain't going to hold me. I'm four minutes over, over time. Huh? God is holy and pure. I'm still not done yet. I still got a lot of things to do here, but I got to go home. I got to go home. God is holy, and God will judge sin. Okay? We always want to talk about Deacon Jeff. We want to talk about the good things. We, want to, we only want to share the great things or the easy things with other people, Chaz. Okay? That God loves you. Uh-huh. He's preparing a place for you in heaven, huh? Okay, his presence will go with you wherever you go in your life, okay? But they are, they, they are important. But also, we got to understand here is that God is holy, God is pure, God, God is right, but also God will judge sin, huh? And, 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 and there's no other, when, when we sin, there, the attributes that we must have, there's no other resources, is, recourses, but to repent of our sins, Okay, we cannot keep we can't keep allowing people to, to go to hell, and we know they're going to hell. Huh? We can't sugarcoat. We can't think about it. Hear me, I'm, I'm done here. Just because they come to church, don't mean they're going to heaven. Just because they pray, sing on the praise team or, or stay in the pulpit and preach, it don't mean they're going to go to heaven. If they're sinning in their life, they have to repent of it. They're going to go to hell. Amen. Huh? We got to be men and women of God who walk in integrity and let them know. Says I, I know. That, matter of fact, you understand. It's at times, it's like a parent. Sometimes it hurts a, a parent more. I never understood that. This is going to hurt me more than hurt you. I, I never understood that as a kid. Okay. Uh, what, what you? What, what, don't do it then if it's going to hurt you. Huh? But I understood it. It had to take place. Okay? And sometimes when the Lord, when the Lord wants to, to me to do something or say something, it, it, I, I really don't want to do it. I, I'm trying to, find a man, trying to find a way to say it or, or, or to just go away. It ain't going to go away. And I got to go home and sleep on it. And God said, why have you not said something? Huh? Why have you said it? Well, you, you, you're going to willingly allow them to go to hell? And you had, to, you had the power or the voice to stop it? I, I, I got to speak up. You go, why? I got to say he's God of love, but also he's God of correction. When we are faithful to God, we will speak the hard sayings, but when we say this, we gotta, we're going to say it with full of grace. We'll say it full of love. We're going to speak in a tone that's genuine and caring for other individuals. Okay? So when you correct somebody, okay? When you, okay, I'll tell you, I always ask these, these young parents in here trying to, these kids, they just want to scream at them. That's not going, that's not going to correct the behavior. Hmm. Screaming at, the, at a child, it won't correct bad behavior. It, it, it doesn't. You, 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 yeah, it will make it work. If they're going, what they have, they're going to resent you 
and resent everything of what you stand for. You, you got you, you to come to them in, in compassion. You got to let them know that you love them. They got to they, they feel the love first. If they don't, come on, they got to feel love. If they don't feel you that you love them, now, come on, now that, that was a problem there. And now when, some, when they really need you, when they really need somebody, you, they're, they're going to get, they're gonna go to the street. Huh? Because why somebody on the street would take them in. Huh? Hey, hey, but why, but why, they're going to accept them. They're going to feed them. They're going to, to tell these things. And all a child wants is to be accepted and loved. Huh? And it, huh? That's why they could join the game. But why? But why? They, they want to get in the home. Matter of fact, most of the time, they want the father in the house. And, my, and mama can only do so much with the son. You know what I mean? I, I, for all the single mothers, you know, it's, it's hard to raise a man to be a man. Being a single mother, it takes a man to raise a man. You know, I mean, to show them. Th- I'm just, I'm just I'm, I'm, there's, great, there's, there's great, there's great, many great women who raise men. I'm not saying that, okay? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that, okay? There's really great women who are out there, but, but really, for, for sometimes that's why I say you, a, 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 a man, a man in the house makes a difference, makes a world of difference, and that's what the enemy has taken away. He has taken, he has taken the authority of man out of the house. Huh? And that's why we got prisons filled up. We got all, I'm done. I'm done. I'm, done. I'm 10 minutes over my time. Okay. All right. Um, you got any questions here? Any questions? Brenda, she, go and drink your water. Huh? Any questions? You, you got a question? Huh? You want me to keep it real? No, you don't. <laughs> Jay Smitty. Yes, I'm. Oh yeah. Oh. So you knew how to act. Oh, oh, right, 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 right. right, right. It, 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 that's the problem. You, know, it, 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 you said ten times. You said you said more than once, there, child. You know what? You, you, you got to keep on saying that. You, you, ain't, you ain't real. You ain't for real. Uh, like you said, all it took was one time. You know, there, there was a follow up. Yeah, yeah. There's a follow up. You, you, you're gonna be one, two, three, real quick. Well, something's gonna get you. You know what I mean? It, it was a follow up, and that's the thing about it is maybe you know, that's what I say. That's, that's the thing. The prison told me be fair, firm, and consistent. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? I can say what you, you can say what you need to say. Say it and, and be consistent with it. I mean, take it away. Oh, never mind. That's another lesson. Okay, I'm sorry I keep you so long online, but, you, but I hope you enjoyed today's service. We're going to we're going to bust a move. Okay. All right. They, they're saying in here, keep it real. They they don't want that. They don't, they don't want it, Ellen. They really don't keep it real. But next coming this Sunday, please come back uh, this Sunday. We're going to end the series this week. Uh, on the how to live a virtuous life, we're going to talk about an atti- a gr- attitude of gratitude. Uh, we're going to talk about that, about that because we're going to talk about how to walk in integrity, how, how to do these things, but having the attitude of gratitude, how much that's going to bless your life. So please come back on this coming Sunday. God bless you. Have a good week. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh my God. It's hot. It's not in here.